Hey YouTube, I'm just uh, gonna do a quick unboxing and I'm gonna unveil my, well, I guess I'll call it my horror freight tent outside that was holding uh, my tractor, my lawn tractor inside, because something really weird happened to that. But uh, that said, I got something for my, uh, my little go-kart. I uh, was going to just restore the lighting, but uh, to be honest, the original lights on there, incandescent junk. I mean, compared to today's LEDs. So what I did was I reached out to uh, my buddies at Amazon, and they gave me a box in a box. Uh, don't you love that? That's what we need, more boxes. All right, so anyway, let's... Uh... There we go. And then it's in plastic. I guess they're keeping this thing nice and safe, huh? Alrighty. Now, I'm going to place that down. Envision this mounted on top of the Hammerhead go-kart. I think it's going to work out great. It's going to give me a ton of light, and it's really going to work well in the woods in the back because we're all making a track behind the house. So this should be an absolute blast. Okay, so right now I'm heading out to see what in the world went wrong with my horror fright tent. I mean, it's uh, you know a little carport. It lasted for roughly two years. And uh, we had a little bit of wind last night. It wasn't crazy. I don't think it was anything even above like 50 miles an hour. So I'm kind of shocked <laughs> at uh, what I'm left with here, it's, uh, well, a mess. You'll be seeing it up close as I do. So let me turn you around here. So it was sitting around the garden tractor there. Holy crap! I don't know what happened to this one. It's half ripped out. The other one's just gone. There's one that's still holding. It's, it's still got a hold of the beam. I guess that's why the beam cracked in half. But the ones on the other side, I think they were all ripped out of the ground. <sighs> Alright. My fault, sort of, I guess. But this thing is... Uh, something. Just trying to look at it, see if I can salvage it somehow. I really don't know, maybe. Okay, so since the last video was put up, this thing's been sitting where I parked it. Um, I was under the weather for a while and I had some doctor things I had to do so I didn't get to play with it much but this uh, light bulb came in the mail now so I want to bring it around on my side of the property again and uh, we will have a blast. I brought over a little bit of starting fluid just in case it doesn't want to start but it ran so good before I'm hoping that it's just gonna start right up. So let's see what happens here. I turned on the fuel about a minute ago. So apparently I was wrong. I hopped in and I uh, was uh, about to uh, turn on the camera. I hit the gas a little bit and it just died. So now if I do it again, it runs, but then it dies. So <laughs> maybe it was too long, I let it sit. So once again, I'll be pulling apart this carburetor, but this time I'll actually video that because I don't think the rubber seals are gonna be bad or anything like that. So we'll see how you rebuild one of these carburetors. Let's do it. 
Okay, so these, uh, to take off the rear rack, there's 15s on the sides and then there's eight millimeters on the, well, the, sorry, 15s in the back and eight millimeters on the side. So I already got the sockets ready to go. I also got my uh, blaster. I love PB Blaster, it works great. I just want to make sure I'm not gonna screw up these threads because I tend to take this off quite a bit, apparently. <laughs> There we go. All right, so we should be, we're hoping. There we go, good to go. I'll try not to put my back to the camera too often. Yeah, this was kind of tight all the way out. I think because the thing is tweaked, so it's a little bent. Hopefully yours isn't. These things are fast and they're a lot of fun, so a lot of people do tend to flip them over. So, wear your seat belts. All this because I wanted to add a light bar. I mean, really? <laughs> but ultimately, what good is it having a light bar if it's not going to run good, right? So, ah, no, in the leaves. I got it. All right, winning. Oh, it broke. That's what happened. There's almost no thread on the end of that. So it was there and it busted. I don't honestly remember if I broke it or if it just broke while it was sitting. Something sheared this thing off. I'm gonna have to order another one. Now for the normal side. I was gonna just record the one side because you can kind of you know figure out yeah, on your own. But since this one's got a nut on it. And the other one didn't. <laughs> I figured maybe we'll have a look see here. Alright, so now I'm just gonna grab this. I, I could go and get the wrench, but I'm not gonna let it slip or anything. It's just I don't know, whatever. I have these in hand, so. I think this might be yeah, hand tight. Okay, that one's off, that one's off. Oh, come on now. Ah, great, everything flew in the floor. Ah, look what I have to find it in. <laughs> I can't see it at all, maybe you can, I don't know. I gotta dig. Ah, there, there's the bolt, all right. Now where's that other piece? There it is, winning. All right. So now this thing should pop right off. It won't, but it should. Just put these back together real quick so that I don't lose pieces. Okay. Ah. So you yank it back off. Just be careful if you have uh, good wires because they do unplug. There we go. That's all I really need. I don't need to go too far. 
Now back to the carburetor. <laughs> Maybe I should cut this here. Okay, I'm hoping focus will be okay. I just want to see if I can get this screw that's holding the carburetor to the sort of tube that brings it into the cylinder loosened up. It looks like it's loosened up pretty good. All right, that's good. Good news there. All right, that should just pop right off at this point. It's nice and loose. Uh, now I'm just going to be grabbing a couple of these little hand clips. Put them off. There we go. That one's off. I like to leave them sort of where they are because it can be a little confusing if you don't. All right, let's go around the other side. There's some more detail on that side I think we want to see. All right, so all I've done so far is pulled off that uh, little air cleaner and I pulled off the uh, petcock. If you slide the lever around so it's horizontal, I believe that is the off position. I think uh, if the lever is pointing up, I think then that's uh, the reserve and I think pointing down is normal. So that said, hopefully that'll help out. But now what I'm going to try to do is just kind of yank off the carb and see if I can't leave a lot of this stuff on here while I uh, futz with the bowl. Oh, come on. I felt it go. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, it's going to pour a little gas out. That's okay. All right. Okay, so now I just have to take out these four uh, Phillips screws, then I should be able to pop off the bowl and have a look at what's inside this thing. Hopefully, I, I, it shouldn't be anything bad, but I, I don't know. Maybe two months is enough these days with this crappy oxygenated gas they've given us. Okay, now I've got the thing just twisted upside down, and I did manage to crack all of them. Some of them were tighter than a monkey's arm, I'll tell you. They were really tough to not strip them out, but uh, I pushed down really hard, and I twisted as hard as I could. They finally broke without stripping, so just be careful with those. Okay, here we go. I give it a 50-50. This thing looks scrungy. I haven't opened this up yet, but let's see. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely some slime in there. That's that oxygenated gas. It just turns to crap. Thanks a lot, government. This is just wonderful. Oh yeah, down there, I'm, I'm sure it's flowing real good. You can probably see this. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god, alright, I have to clean this thing out as best I can. Fun. Alright, so the good news with this one is that it shouldn't be all crusty and whatnot. So it didn't sit around for years and like have everything dry out. It just got goobery. <laughs> so, if that's a term, I'm not sure. But uh, I will say it is a term, because that's what it is. A lot of goobers in here. So now I'm trying to get this pin out. It's coming out slowly. Not quite enough to grab yet. There we go. <sighs> really? I can get an angle on it. There we are. Alright, so we got the pin. Let's not lose that. Place that with the screws over here. There we go, and let's have a look at the, uh... oh yeah, that looks nice and skeezy. That really is not looking healthy at all. So you can sit there, and then I'll bet you inside of there is all nasty. So we're going to get the uh, calm cleaner going, and we're going to make sure also that the uh, tube that has the, let's see, it's coming around, it's going over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this off, and I'm going to pop this whole hose off, and I'm going to make sure that it flows still, because I don't know if that filter got filled up with gum, and uh, I'm you know, not going to get any more gas in here. But uh, it's going to require two hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I killed two birds with one stone. I uh, reconnected the hose, and then I turned on the petcock, and I filled up the carburetor with some, uh, some, some fuel. That way I can use that to kind of clean it, because gasoline is actually good to clean up bad gasoline. So. There's that. Okay, so now I'm pretty confident, since it's all slimy, that uh, just using some carb cleaner in here should clean out the gum and make everything, uh, you know, clean again. 
if it was old and crusty and all you know, kicked on the sides, then you have to get in there with like wire bristles and whatnot and put it through all the passages. Uh, it's best off to use something that's relatively soft, like uh, for an old copper brush, because you don't really want to make the passages any bigger than they already are. That said, if you're ever using carb cleaner in these ports on carburetors, I don't care if it's for a mini bike, uh, go kart, or even a car, it will squirt right back in your eye. <laughs> Almost guaranteed. So by all means, wear safety goggles. They're ugly, they look funny, but you know what? It sucks getting this stuff in your eye. It really hurts, and your eyes are important, right? So let's have a quick look here. So for instance, I got this gum in here. I'm just gonna blast it out of there. It's probably good if you don't have it over the nice seat. Well, nice. I guess it's all a matter of who you're looking at. It's looking pretty good. I got just a little bit more in the corner there. Not sure if, yeah, you can probably see that. So I didn't get that just yet. I have to just keep keep hammering away at it. I'll, I'll take some uh, time off of that. I want to make sure I get this. Uh, well, the, the, the float itself looks fine. It's this pin that looks terrible. I mean, this probably isn't stopping fluid all that well at this point, so I'll just uh, squirt her down. <sighs> you know what? I can put you down. I, I always forget that when I'm hot and heavy working on stuff. So, I have this. <laughs> I'll just hold it in my hand and squirt it, you know? Because it looks like that, and then when I squirt it, it makes it look much better. Holy crap, that's cold. Might not be all that healthy, so if you're a young fella, by all means, wear gloves. I should probably wear gloves too, to be honest, but I forgot. So, that's what we're doing. Yeah, so every now and then you want to take something. Like, here's a zip tie. This stuff is so soft. Just scrapes around with the zip tie. But it's like stuck on the bottom of the carb, so the carb spray is not taking it out. But this is now moving it around. Next time I spray this now, it'll just take it right off. It should be fine. This is just a stain, I think, in the corner here. So. Yeah, I think when I put this back together again, it's gonna run like gangbusters again. But who knew? I mean, just a little bit over two months, this thing sat and this happened. So it doesn't even have to be a whole season or anything these days. Absolute junk. Okay, here's hoping I got this thing all in the right uh, direction. I think I do. the camera that is. I know the carburetor is upside down at the moment. That's because I got to put the stuff on there. But first I got to hang the float on the, right, no, hang the needle on the float. Both of them are looking good enough from uh, my house. So just take this and uh, place it down in here. So it goes back in I'm not getting that. There we go. And I just have to find that pin that holds the floats. I right, did put it right over here. Good. Sometimes you gotta wiggle the floats a little bit to line it up. There we go. She's in there and she's happy. And again, I, I could have pulled these out, but I don't really see a need to because they, they squirted through pretty well. Uh, normally I would, but this thing, again, two months, I, I'm having trouble believing that this got so gummy <laughs> so quick. I mean, it did, obviously. We saw it, right? I think, does this go, I think it goes this way. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. I kind of like these newer uh, carbs, they got these bowl gaskets, or they're not gaskets, they're seals, and you don't have to replace them every time. That is wonderful. Sorry if my arm is totally blocking everything here, so I just really put the cover back on. It's, uh, it can only go on one way, so 
there's no mistaking it. If you kind of look at it, the uh, the little square part on the back here goes by the, uh, the the float part where you pin in. And I haven't been using the uh, the gun on this. I don't love using guns because they're uh, too uh, rough, really, with these small screws and. Uh, Last thing you want to do is strip them out on the way in, you know, make it way too tight and then you never get it out again. Because I can almost guarantee at this point that I will go through this again at some point. Though, we are building a track in the backyard and I hope this thing is going to get used a lot more real soon. It can sort of outgrew the other little, uh, little uh, go-kart I built years ago. It wasn't even that long ago, but the kids grow fast, man. Oh, they're screwed, then I'm gonna tighten them all. And none of these are very tight right now, they're just basically bottomed out. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to block you here because I can't get this one in <laughs> without using this hand. Alrighty, there we go. And these, like, while well, you want to make them snug, you don't want to make them super tight. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you make them really, really tight, they're gonna never come out again. So just go, you know, light pressure inward until it slips a little bit, and you're good. I mean, sorry, that's not a torque spec exactly, but. I don't think anybody really talks these things anyway. Okay, now all I gotta do is flip her back around, take my little hose doohickey and point that in the right direction. Come on, drain hose! Get out of here! All right, this is good enough. This goes on here. And this moves up here. Maybe I should use pliers on that, start my fingers. Come on, get on there. Try to do. I'm going to use a fingernail on the base of it while I squeeze it together with the pliers. There we go. Ha! We got it. winning. All right. So now I just got to hook up the fuel. Ah. Is this just too short? What the hell? How did I have this working before? Oh, duh. <laughs> I forgot, I moved that thing back so the gas tank's not in the right spot. That would explain it. Thinking every now and then helps. Moment of truth in just a second. I just turned on the pet guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if she'll run.
Yeah, let's see. Maybe a little stop and fluid. Yeah, it's pretty cold out today. Just gonna try to uh, rev it. The revs. I'll put the uh, air cleaner back on. Not great. Here we go, winning. Ah, I think it just fell over. Oh no! Ah, luckily, they're all locked in pretty good. Okay, so family stuff kind of got in the way today. Uh, this took longer than I expected it would, but at least she's running good again. That's uh, you know really important because I do want to go blasting. What's really nice here? Here's the thing. That one there is my house. Right. I, I say, if you've seen other videos, you know my house. This is my in-laws. So we share properties in the back. They don't use their back property at all. We both have a full acre. So what we've decided is that we are full on going to make a go-kart track in the back of the house. So we can then start blasting from property to property. Uh, so it should be a decent amount that we can cruise around on and be a lot of fun. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I think what I'm going to be doing, I was looking at the, uh, the light bar I bought. It is wider than its half rails. So it would be sticking out up here. And I don't think I want something like that because then if we go through brush and whatnot, that's going to be getting whacked first. And I don't know, it's just probably not a great idea. On the other hand, there's these tabs down here. That is where I'm going to mount the thing. Uh, I'll fabricate something up that I can mount the uh, light bar on there. It should be just about the width of this. Then it'll be back just a little bit. If it gets broken, it's no big deal. It wasn't that expensive. With that said, I'd rather not break it, you know, right away. Uh, I'm going to try to replace that light. I just, uh, I don't really care if they work there. If it doesn't, it's kind of the weird daily case of today. Don't bother. I would just like to get another one so it looks nicer. You know? that looks and then I should probably get some silver paint for this thing. But that's, uh, all right so i've uh, cleaned up the tools but as you can probably see behind me now the moon is out so this is why i really want to have lights on this thing because i don't want to ride around in the pitch dark but i was gonna go for a quick blast now i'll start this thing up and we'll just go for a quick ride to see how well it goes make sure to climb my uh hill of a front lawn yes we do go sleigh riding on it sometimes is that something on the oh shit, sorry there's something on the lens <laughs> hopefully that's good enough hopefully it starts again that'd be funny if it wouldn't they're not funny, haha, -ha, but funny like what the hell. I cleaned up the seats a little bit so I'm not getting all dirty. There we go. We in drive, baby. Let's look out this way.
All right, so it's gonna have to be next week when I get the light bar on this thing, but uh, I do want to get this. I, I need to add tires as well, because these are dry rotted. So I had to fill up three of them before I could go for a ride. I figure you don't need to see me doing that, but uh, in any event, this thing is an absolute blast. I can't wait to get this thing in top-notch shape. We do have a second one at the uh, farm that we're ultimately gonna sell. So when we have two of them down here, we'll be, uh, I don't know, racing? I mean, it should be an absolute blast. Anyway, uh, Cam Am's out for now.